So somehow it's September. How did this happen? So I thought I'd do a monthly favourites video because it's been a long time. I used to do them quite often but for some reason I've let it slide like everything else in my life. I'm going to kick things off with a bit of skincare. Um, this month I don't know what happened to my face but underneath my eyes suddenly got really dry but I really needed an eye cream that was going to sort that out pronto because it meant that concealer wouldn't sit on it properly and it just looked really horrible and gross wasn't into it. And I picked up um, the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado, which comes in a little round pot like this. So basically this is like green stuff, um, and apparently the avocado oil gently moisturises the delicate area. I'm obviously not a skincare expert, so I'm not sure about all the ins and outs of it, but I can tell you that it's sorted out my eyes, so it must be pretty good stuff. It smells really nice, it feels lovely and cooling on your skin, and I'm a big fan of this, and I've been using it every day in my routine, so... Yeah, this this pretty much made its way solidly into my skincare routine now, which is always nice. Makeup wise, there's an eyebrow product which I have been loving recently. A friend of mine went to America and I asked her to pick me up a couple of bits from Sephora. Obviously, as one does. One of the things I asked her to pick me up was the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, which is this weird stuff in a jar that looks a bit like gel eyeliner, but it actually goes on your eyebrows. I've just been using my MAC 266 slanted brush and using a really light hand to just sort of fill in the gaps, shape my brows a little bit, put in a bit of more of an arch. All the Anastasia brow products that I've tried, I've been really impressed with. I love the, um, what's it called? Brow Wiz. Love the Brow Wiz. Um, and I was gonna get another one of those, but then this really intrigued me. And I'm glad I got it because it's very good. I also asked her to pick me up this makeup brush which might seem super random but there's a story behind this i'd seen lots of people talking about the sephora pro airbrush uh, and it's number 55 according to the sticky bit and it suddenly occurred to me that when i went to america last year one of the sephora assistants applied a dior foundation to my face um with the most beautifully soft brush and then i had this like epiphany moment i was like that's the brush and i asked my friend to pick me one up and it is Glorious! Anyone who doesn't have this um, in their makeup brush collection is missing out because this bad boy is amazing. And it's made me put aside my Real Techniques Expert face brush, which I never thought I would see the day. This this is just amazing. I don't think I'll ever use anything else. It's super soft. It literally feels like I'm like stroking a tiny bunny across my face which would be so weird, so it's a good job that they've made it in stick form instead. Um, let's move on, this is weird. At the moment, everyone seems to be obsessed with this perfume. It's the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. To be honest, this was the most, like, spontaneous buy ever, because I'd never even smelt it, but I was just so intrigued by the fact that everyone seemed to love it that I was like, meh. I'll try it. Uh, so I bought the rollable rather than the full size, and now I really wish I'd bought the full size because it's it's so nice. I am obsessed with it. It's still very girly, but it's sort of got a little bit more of a masculine edge to it. It feels much more sophisticated, and I feel quite posh when I'm wearing it. You know, some people can be like, hmm, I detect sandalwood. I can't do that. My nose is not trained for these things, but I suspect it's essence of unicorn because this stuff is incredible. Something that I mentioned in my last video which was a body shop haul has made its way into this favourites video and it is the body shop banana shampoo. I've started going to the gym all the time and I wanted a shampoo that I could use every day that wasn't going to be too harsh on my hair so I like the sound of this because a it smells like bananas lovely jubbly and b it just seemed quite like a natural thing the body shop's all quite natural I think. This stuff is just like super fantastic. It manages to clean my hair every single day without getting it sort of too reliant on being clean, if you know what I mean. The scent is delicious and yeah, I'm just obsessed with it. I've never been obsessed with a shampoo before, but now I am. I don't know what that says about my life, but digging this stuff. Another new purchase that I've been really into at the moment is the Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap. Um, which sounds like it should be in like a circus or something I think, like it sounds really mys mystical and amazing. Even though it sounds magical it's actually quite boring because it's just a liquid soap. Yeah I know, what a let down. But it's like a multi-purpose thing, you can use it on your hair, on your dishes, on your clothes, on anything you want really I think. But um, I'd seen on the grapevine that people have been using it to wash their makeup brushes and I needed a new makeup brush cleaner so I picked this up for about five pounds I think in a local sort of like health food store and this stuff is the business. I cleaned all my makeup brushes with it the other day, had a good session, got them all scrubbed. All I did was put like a 5p size dollop in the palm of my hand 
get a makeup brush and just sort of like swirl it around like this until it all soaked up good and proper um, and then rinsed it under the tap until the water ran clear and it was fine it was great it was really good and super duper cheap plus all my makeup brushes now smell like peppermint so that's great um i don't know if you can see in the background why, why am i doing this like something's gonna hit me <laughs> i got crafty well about as crafty as like sticking stuff together can be um but i sort of created this like washing line of photographs ah this is so awkward let me do it this is going to be super unsteady because I am holding this but um, I basically created this little washing line of photographs to go underneath my shelves. Oh there's a wonky one. I bought the little mini pegs from eBay and then just got some string and then got my photos printed on one of those like Instagram sites and I just think it looks really nice. And then I also put some along the top of my wardrobe as well except these are um, Instax pictures. There's a couple of Instagram ones there but these are all my Instaxes from Asia. I just think they look really cute. This is my crazy wardrobe filled with craziness. Here I am. Hey! Um, I've got one fashion thing and one like random thing left. So I'll do the random thing next. And that is stationery. Bit weird. So I'm going to do Tesco first because these were the bargain of the century. This, which is just an A4 size um, ombre notebook, um, which is sort of like mint green into white. I also saw the matching little one which I then couldn't resist so I picked that up as well this was incredibly priced this was around 30p I think and it's just a normal A5 size line notebook but super useful and then I also saw this one which is a little striped sort of candy coloured A5 notebook and this was also around the 30p mark so for less than two pounds I got three really cute little notebooks there so I'm sorted for a while with these I think really pleased with them just think they're cute is that weird? Love a good notebook. The other little bits and bobs were from Paper Chase. Um, the first thing was this, which is just like a weekly planner. Um, so you have each day here and then you just write your to-do list in each day. Um, as you can see, I had a very busy Monday and not that busy Tuesday, uh, empty Wednesday. Oh, that was the day I wasn't very well. I had a vomiting bug, so I didn't do very much that day. Um, and then Thursday. So I just thought this was really cute. I've been keeping it next to my desk every day. Um, taking them off as I go and I like the little design around it yep and the last thing I picked up was my favorite thing of the bunch and it's a little iPad case which looks like this it's just like a geometric diamond print and I really like the grey and cream together I thought they were really cute and this little tassel on the end was a nice little touch and that's that just thought this was really nice the last thing I have to show you is a coat um, it's going to be super awkward, but I'll try my best. But I'm just obsessed with coats. I have about a million of them, but I realised that I really wanted like a nice autumny coat to sort of transition from summer to winter. Who am I? Transition. What? I saw Kourtney Kardashian wearing a really nice coat, and I was like, oh, that's a really nice coat. But as if I'm going to be able to afford a coat that a Kardashian's wearing. Coat with a K, obvs. But then... Cosmopolitan ran a story and they were like this is where you can buy Courtney's coat and it was ASOS so off I popped to ASOS had a look 40 quid amazing and it's this it's gonna be very hard to show but uh, it's very big um, but it's just this really draped uh, khaki coloured sort of like drapey trench coat um, I'll definitely insert a clip here so you can actually see it and it's not just me like waving a sack around It makes me feel like some sort of old-fashioned detective when I wear it Like I should be solving mysteries Maybe I could solve the mystery of Dr. Bronner's magic soap And it's not really like anything I would normally wear at all But um, yeah, winner winner chicken dinner And that's it! We're officially back on the favourites bandwagon I probably won't do these every month because I don't really have enough stuff, <laughs> to be honest, uh, but it was nice to have a go today. Oh, also, I want to say a few YouTubers that I've really been enjoying. If you like funny videos, then check out Nikki and Sammy. They're two twins from Essex. They are freaking hilarious. Gabby, Velvet Ghost, obviously, babe of life. Who doesn't love her? Emily Victoria Cannon, I think that's her name, is probably the most beautiful human I've ever seen in my entire life, and she makes me want to poke myself in the eye. And also Brianne from Ruckus Like, who is an Australian girl who basically doesn't give a f and she is hilarious uh, so they're my four if you don't subscribe to them then you probably should they're much better than me so if you like this the chances are you'll really love all that and now I'm off to do something else 
Not that this wasn't a great time. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. And the chances are I will see you guys next week because I'm doing quite well at the moment. Three videos in a row now. High five! Um, and I think that's all. So I will see you guys next week. Hopefully. No promises. Do you remember that Shane Ward song, No Promises? No promises! Yeah. Time to go. Bye. <laughs>